So let's start off by talking about the game that didn't happen on Thanksgiving, which was the game between the Ravens and the Steelers. It was supposed to get the primetime slot. It was rescheduled from Thursday night to Sunday. And now we just find out today that the game that was rescheduled is now rescheduled again because more is coming out within the Ravens that they have more players with COVID. So that game was moved from Sunday to Tuesday. What do you think about this? What do you make of this? These A lot of these COVID reports coming out with these players and the game's getting pushed back. What, what do you think about this? Well, I got to say that, you know, first of all, I think we all need to look out for the wellness of the players and everyone who's been infected. There's been 12 players and multiple coaches infected. So, you know, first of all, Real Take Sports Talk, we want to give out our, our uh, thoughts and prayers to them. But when you look at it from the standpoint of this game, it's supposed to happen on Thursday, got pushed back to Sunday, and now it's getting pushed back to Tuesday, and then hopefully we get a chance to play it. But the my overall takeaway from the situation is this is 2020. This is like this was going to happen. We all knew it was going to happen. It's been happening throughout the year. Uh, we had, uh, remember, the Titans game earlier with the Steelers was pushed back to a different week, which affected the Ravens' bye week, you know, so we were even affected by it. We had to change our bye week. So th so this kind of stuff has just been happening, and for me, it's n as a Ravens fan, I'm not going to complain about it because it's just the cards you're dealt with this season. The NFLPA and the NFL um, owners all voted not to have a bubble this season, and these are the consequences of that action. When you don't have a bubble, when you don't do enough to actually mitigate the spread of the disease and you have players going out, you have players going out for Thanksgiving, going out partying, whatever they're doing, right, meeting people, this is going to happen. So it's easy for people to say, oh, this is unfair to the Steelers or this is unfair to the Ravens. It's, it's not really unfair to anybody. This is just the process playing itself out. Now, the question is, though, guys, if the Ravens can actually field a team because – the, the, the issue now isn't really one of, okay, oh, the Ravens, it's unfair to them, and, and they don't have their starters. Like, that that's that's football. that that's They don't need their starters right now. The Ravens have depth for a reason. But the question is, guys, I really am concerned about this. The Ravens are starting, or two starting centers, or our two centers are out because of COVID. We have multiple offensive linemen out already, plus we I think we have an additional one out for COVID. We have... A bunch of players on defense. Lamar Jackson already noted out on COVID. My biggest concern is if these tests, which we're getting every day, and we're getting results back every day of positive tests, if they keep getting these positive tests, I don't think the Ravens are going to have a team to actually field. I I, I don't think because you're because all you also need that in order to sign more players, there needs to be a six day waiting period. So. My question is, are the Ravens actually even going to get to the point on Tuesday where they can play? And if the NFL finds, and my opinion is, if the NFL finds that there's been some sort of bad uh, bad policy, or if there's been some sort of um, neglect on the Ravens' part, and they have to forfeit, I'm fine with that. That's the price of playing football, like I said. But I do think that, you know, these are things of concern. But like, at the end of the day, we need to be thankful that football is happening in general, because the only the, the alternative is just not to play football at all. All right, now let's hear from our resident Steelers fan. What what does Mr. Trenzi have to say about this? What does Trenzi I have feel to say? Like, I feel like this is absolutely um. Well, first of all, I feel like this is absolutely you know I'm, I'm going to keep it PG. This is uh this is this is bull crap. Um, if they're as a DC person, but also a Steelers fan, we just know that uh Baltimore is dirty. And uh, therefore, that's why they got COVID. Now, what? What I, I, as a Steelers fan, I was personally mad because I looked forward to this game. I worked my butt off all week and I wanted to see my boys go up against Omer's boys and whoop their ass and, be, you know, become 11 and 0. Now I have to wait till what, Tuesday now? Um, I also feel like the Ravens kind of the NFL postponed it because their moneymaker Lamar Jackson wasn't playing. I honestly feel like that was rigged. If it's really a concern, and how about you go have, you know, the rest of your, what is a football team, what, 50-something players on it? You mean to tell me that you don't have, you don't have 12 other professional athletes to throw onto that field so we can bust y'all ass? Is that what you're see, telling me? See, see, again, you're coming from it from the perspective of, oh, the Steelers are getting screwed because they can't play the game. Dude, 
it doesn't matter. It, with playing on Tuesday, playing on Sunday, it doesn't matter. Playing on Tuesday even, Lamar Jackson's not playing. He's, he's okay. not playing for like another probably two weeks. So get that out of your mind completely. The Like I said, my only concern was if there's more positive tests, there's a possibility of this game not happening. Do it, dude. So the, be- so the NFL did, again, what's best for the players given the circumstances. If, again, Simon, if this... W- if you don't want this to be an issue, then the players should have been in a bubble. Then we would have no issues with canceling and, games. And that's that's where I'm kind of mad at the NFL for that. Like, the NBA went through with the bubble. Why isn't the NFL going through with the bubble? Well, that's not the NFL. That's the players. The players voted. They did not want to be in a bubble. That's on it the shouldn't players. Be the, it shouldn't be up to the players. We're talking about the safety of people. No, I agree. And again, I agree with you, Doc. So... But getting back to this game, getting back to the Ravens and the Steelers, because we can debate about COVID and how that's affected. At the end of the day, it looks like the the game is going to be played on Tuesday. So looking forward to the game. As a Ravens fan, I'm excited to see RG3. I'm actually like genuinely excited to see RG3 because, again, the the Steel- if there's any game that I would want Lamar Jackson to miss, honestly, and I'd be cool with RG3 starting, it'd be this game because RG3 is not ready. Came- Came in last year, and what did he do? He beat the Steelers last the end of last year. So, again, not the same team, but the Ravens and the Steelers always play hard. It's always a one-possession game. Like, dude, we even beat you guys when you guys had Ben Roethlisberger and made the playoffs with Ryan Mallett at quarterback. We like we had Ryan fucking Mallett, the pride of Arkansas, at quarterback, and we beat you guys. So, that's so I'm not concerned about the actual game being, you know, we're, gonna, we're not going to get blown out or anything like that, or at least I hope not, but... I do think it's going to be interesting seeing RG3 start for the first time in, like, that real position where he's a real starter uh, for the first time, basically, since he was in Cleveland. Now, in light of in, – in looking back at the situation, I do feel like um, even though we were definitely going to beat you guys, I do understand that uh, it would have been a short-term win. It would have been a short-ended win. It would not have really meant anything if our players are going to go into Washington and then get COVID, potentially. So I do understand that. I was just bummed out about the fact that I did not get to text Omer the way I texted Andrew. Dude. That y'all got your ass bust. I mean, mean, you already got to do it once this season. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Um, For more content please like hit that notification bell uh like comment subscribe and everything like that and just remember keep it real